Is gatekeeping killing Classic WoW? Are people taking it too far by requiring you to have all purple parses to even be able to enter into Nomergan? Because of course the game is really easy. It's Classic World of Warcraft. It's not supposed to be hard, but there's always two sides to every argument. So we're gonna try to cover both sides of it. And actually while recording this, while doing this on stream, I kind of changed my own mind personally a little bit. So let's dive in. It doesn't take much to get a purple parse in this game. And that's why when people also come in and say a 50 parse is average, it's not. Auto shot, 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 auto shot. He's literally AFKing and he's getting blue parses. The game is so easy. Buffs, debuffs, consumables. The amount that these outscale gear itself is kind of insane. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, um, considering my fresh naked shaman is able to have all purple parses, right? Um, and I know there's a lot of gatekeeping in the community. It's like, if you don't have good parses, you know, not fully naked anymore, but I mean, if, if, I can, if I'm, uh, let me just show you a, a piece of gear. Um, for reference, this is, uh, this is an enhanced shaman, so luckily four stamina increases my DPS and uh, five intellect. It's not useless, you know, um, but it's okay because it's 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 easy. It's literally you can do it's it's an easy game. The game is is genuinely really easy. Hopefully we'll have a rats video today also and we can watch that speed run. Um, the game itself is really easy. The gatekeeping is kind of insane, kind of over the top, right? There's, there's so much gatekeeping in WoW Classic or in any version of World of Warcraft, kind of in any version of gaming now, but there also is the opposite side where you have, you have logs like this guy who, who had a two minute Grubbis wipe and his run was over. Oh my God, holy sh this is insane, okay. So this mage's first cast was Living Bomb two seconds in. Six seconds later, cast Scorch on Chomper, then cast Living Flame still on Chomper. Second Living Bomb, Scorch, all on the wrong target. Now cast Scorch on a Cavern Deep Pillager? I forgot that ad spawn on this boss. He literally doesn't hit the boss until 30 seconds in, are you? This is... So like some gatekeeping can be merited. Has he casted a direct spell on Grubbis? Yet? Yeah. No. Oh my God. Living bomb, living bomb, living bomb, living bomb. Ignite from a living bomb crit right there. Frost Nova, a minute and 14 seconds in. First cast on Grubbis is a Scorch, one minute and 35 seconds into the fight. That is the first direct cast attacking the boss. One minute and 35 seconds into the fight. This is honestly mind blowing. And this is the reason why people check logs. The, the gatekeeping is unreal. But the reason why logs are useful is because of things like this. If you're looking for a raid like this, where a player is unironically not hitting the boss for a minute and 35 seconds. Gatekeeping is essentially not inviting people because they they don't have good enough parses. A lot of people will get upset that there's, there's people not inviting rogues because rogues aren't thought of as the meta class or not inviting other classes because they don't have good enough parses. Uh, let's let's take a gander at at how someone does 73 DPS over the course of one minute and 52 seconds with seven casts of multi shot, seven casts of serpent sting. First, let's take a, a gander. OK, so we have a ranged hunter using bloodlash bow, a 1.8 speed bow that is purely purely for melee hunters a ranged hunter that is running a beast mastery build perfect 31 0 cast special wrath cast serpent sting two 
seconds later, cast multi shot. Cast Serpent Sting again. Cast Rapid Fire. And then spends over 10 seconds doing literally nothing. And then casts a Men Pet. Which then proceeds to not cast one attack for eight more seconds. Oh my god. So, on one side, gatekeeping is terrible, actually. Gatekeeping is, is atrocious. Like, not inviting someone because they don't have purple logs is really a meme for the sake of... It, it's so easy to do damage in the raid, but also there's two, two instances, right? Logs are a very good estimation of what you're doing in the raid because it'll tell you exactly what someone is doing in the raid. So, like... To look at someone's logs, if, if the raid was challenging at all, makes a lot of sense. It would make a ton of sense to look at someone's logs, not necessarily to see if they are parsing. That's like the biggest part that most people don't understand is if someone was, was a good raid leader and wanted to look at your logs, they wouldn't be looking at it if, if in the sense of like, are you parsing well? No, they would look at like, what are you doing? It's like looking at healing logs. Healing logs, I don't want you to be a 99 parsing healer. That means you had a terrible raid. That means your raid stood in fire for really long or you were a solo healer and everyone was taking damage, right? Getting parses on, on a healer is, is the biggest meme ever. But the logs will show what you're doing, right? And so you can take that at, at the same instance if someone's parsing gray, they're obviously not playing the game, right? If they're parsing gray, they're definitely not playing the game. This guy, unironically, this this raid had to have not been real. This is this is not real. This is not real. Sorry. There, there's a lot of gatekeeping in the community right now where where people aren't inviting others because they don't have good enough logs and there is a week or, or an add-on that was going around we saw it all earlier this week Look at this. this guy's a 90, 98 warrior 30 39 percent parse oh my god dude uh, 71 of 71 is is eating dirt i'm just kidding where am i i'm a little bit that was going around that allowed you to scroll over someone and see what their logs were or their best parse was not their logs you can see their best parse it's basically the same thing as raider io in retail world of warcraft you could scroll over someone or you can slash who them or you can inspect them and you can see what what they've done in the raid this shaman hit level 40 literally two days ago now three days now as of this morning now it's three days ago right i think there's two forms of thought a lot of people are upset that if you can't get invited to raids without purple parses, which I didn't even realize are so low, BT dubs. Like a 75 is a purple parse. I thought it was like 90s and above, and I was like, that makes sense. People should bring you if you're above like 70s. But I didn't realize purple parsing is, is it takes zero skill, essentially. It doesn't really take much work. I'm playing a shaman that was wearing gear like this. Tribal pants from level seven. I've got the belt that is plus 12 intellect, does nothing for an enhanced shaman. It's literally an empty slot. It's a cloth spellcaster helm, level 20 weapon, and two rings that are completely empty slots also. If I go to eye level parses, I actually look pretty good, right? But the, the thing is, the biggest thing for anyone to do damage in a raid is, again, buffs, debuffs, and consumables. And my raid didn't have all of those. My raid doesn't have all of all of the debuffs. And I can show you, but it has some of them. It has some of them. First of all, I spent a tiny bit of gold. I spent like six gold on this character just to have some consumables so I wasn't useless. We have two rogues. We we have we have no leader of the pack. We're we're not gonna have Sunders in this raid. We have an arms warrior. We do get homunculi in some of them, right? Do, do I have matching speed weapons? No, I just hit level 40. <laughs> no, not I have two terrible weapons for this situation. I have I have I have, I have a fresh literally two days ago. 
One thing that most people don't do, and I'm still shocked that most people don't do this, is track debuffs. If you're a physical DPS, you're definitely going to want Curse of Wreck, Fairy Fire, and Sunder up on the boss. If you don't have those, what are you doing? Warriors complaining that they can't parse without Wind Fury? Of course you can't. The Warriors are useless without Wind Fury Totem. That's the World of Warcraft. But if you don't have debuffs, you're not going to do damage. I asked at the beginning of this raid if it was kosher if like if it was okay if i asked for buffs and or debuffs to go up like if they weren't up during the raid i asked if that was okay in the raid because i didn't want to be rude because most raids you get in people don't know how to press those buttons right people don't press those buttons in most raids let's just be honest and then we got monkeys up on this boss which allows me to do a lot more damage now you can see everyone's starting to do a lot more damage everyone in here is really geared which is why i kind of went to this this second raid um it's still a long fight it's twice as long as like a normal grubbis fight but at least everyone in here is really geared except for me i'm i'm the fresh character but you see how much damage goes up once you start having debuffs up on a boss like damage just ramps up for everyone once debuffs go up on your bo a boss but you're a pro player? No, I, I haven't even looked up a guide on how to play Shaman. I'm just pressing buttons. I literally have four things bound. I press this button, two, three, four, and F. That's all I was pressing. Literal fresh character, right? So I think it's okay if gatekeeping asks you to have purple parses, maybe blue. If you have below blue parses though, you're probably not playing the game. And that's fair if people look at it and say, what's going on right like you're probably not doing most things or your group's not doing most things like if you look at at look at let's go to let's look at this 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 one the day before where i'm doing less damage because i have no gear whatsoever but we also have okay degrade is up fairy fire not up curse of recklessness not up no curse of elements up but i believe we had a warlock do we have no warlock we might have no warlock Oh, there's, so there's a Warlock and a Boomkin. Neither of them pressing the buttons, one global that would make everybody do more damage. I think blue blue is fine. The gatekeeping of people to be upset if they're not invited without having purple though, I, you only need a 70. I didn't even realize how low of a parse you needed for a, a purple. That's like, a, a, I would say elitist, sure, right? one day after you hit level 40 to be able to do 600 dps on a fight that doesn't have debuffs up the whole time and it's a uh, twice as long as it should be shamans are unbelievably overpowered but parsing is only against other people of your class so to get a 90 parse against all other shamans in the world is is crazy because shaman is is a very overpowered class shaman is i would argue the first time I've seen a class genuinely be broken. Yeah, Scorpid, Scorpid Hunter was broken. Explosive Shot, obviously. Scorpid Hunter was broken, and then Shaman is just incredibly overpowered, right? You are so, so strong for not having to do much. So gatekeeping is okay to a point, but you don't need the meta, as I think Zar you did it yesterday. Zar did a raid with only people that parsed blues or below only people that parse that had blue or below parses the raid is is genuinely that easy world of warcraft classic is an easy raid so like there's a lot of groups not inviting rogues because they don't want rogues a good rogue does amazing but like if people just understand the game there's not really mechanics realistically technically there is but every single mechanic can be ignored and cheese the bare minimum that you should ask of people and the only thing that people should need to do i don't care if you do damage is press your buttons and we can even see it in this raid and 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 this is gatekeeping right now i personally would not invite this druid or i would i would invite him but ask him multiple times to put up fairy fire it is so easy you can have literal single digit parses and be carried by three people through the whole raid, all you need to do is press that one button. And there's no point not doing it. I'm not really, I don't like trash talking people, but I definitely ask them to put up buffs and debuffs. I would bring a rogue any day, dude. Rogues rogues are, are great. Rogues are, are very, very solid. A good rogue pumps, especially if you look at like a fast fight. Look at this fight, look at Grubbis. 
Okay, this rogue did no damage. Was he? He's tanking though. I think he's tanking. I'm pretty sure this is the tank. Wow, I don't know what happened. This is, a, this is a bad estimate. All right, let's look at let's look at Bobcat. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck gonna have happened there. These two buttons are so incredibly powerful. And if anyone doesn't track these in your raid, I highly suggest getting a tracker that shows you what buffs and debuffs are up. But just, just do debuffs. You know what I mean? It's it's so simple. There's no need to be gatekeeping in WoW Classic. The raid is, is super, super easy. But if you want to succeed in World of Warcraft, um, classic specifically towards the long run, I would highly suggest learning about buffs and debuffs, just tracking them and pressing that button. Cause that button is, is everything. And, and I'm in this raid, I was, I was tilting myself. I was like, is this really happening? And I didn't want to look at my face. Look at, let me show you my face really fast. <laughs> That's the amount of damage you get though. The <laughs> I'm sorry. The amount of damage you get and your average raid though, your average raid does not do this. It, this above your average raid, right? Again, guys, again, again, this new shaman, I've I've only been a shaman for two days, two days. The gatekeeping of like, if, if they won't invite me, if I don't have a purple parse, you don't, you don't really don't need to do much to get purple parses. I didn't realize it just takes like a 70 to get a purple parse. You don't need to even do anything. You could get blue parses by basically not playing the game, apparently. So you don't even need a good comp, You uh, unless you're a warrior. You don't need a good, good group or gear, apparently. Straight up, if you want your parse to go from a blue to a purple parse, instantly, literally without you changing one thing, ask your raid to put up debuffs. That's it. Playing a warrior, playing a warrior in a raid that doesn't have any debuffs on the boss is I would I would I would alt F4. It is not your fault whatsoever. A warrior cannot do damage. Not once throughout this entire raid was fairy fire cast. This is a, a 90 parsing player, right? So this is like the the epitome actually of parses don't show what someone's bringing to the raid. This is the epitome of that. This guy had like a 92 average because I had the add-on at, at the time. He's got a 98.4 average. He's a absolute pumper. Absolute pumper, dude. I would rather invite a boomkin that does half of this DPS and puts up fairy fire. You rarely see it, but when, when people complain and say parsers, people that parse do it by cheesing mechanics and ignoring mechanics and not helping the raid, this is that instance. It's this is like the the number one thing everyone should do is just get a weak aura that tracks debuffs. Like everyone should have it because you'll start noticing it and and you'll be like, oh, that's weird. I did like 200, 300 DPS less than I should have on that fight. It's that big. It's that big. Buffs and debuffs are that big. They really are. That's World of Warcraft. The bare minimum of what you should do is just press your, your one button. I don't know why we always have this combo in the WoW community about if inviting based on parses should be a thing or not. What else should I be invited based off of? I don't want my group to completely toss a coin. <laughs> if I'm a human being or first generation 1940s, that's true. Like we saw with this, this person who waited an, a minute and 35 seconds to cast his first Scorch on the boss. Of course, I'm going to look at this guy's log and be like, I. Maybe the bar should be set at purple parses. Auto shot, 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 auto shot. He's literally AFKing and he's getting blue parses. The game is so easy to a point. Yes. Gatekeeping is bad. You shouldn't be like, I don't need to bring a rogue. But at the same time, being upset that someone won't invite you because you don't have purple parses is like you you need to do almost the bare minimum to get a purple parse average. If you just actually press your buttons, you'll get a purple parse. This is a that was an unironic blue parsing hunter 
who genuinely did not press buttons for about 10 seconds at a time. I haven't even looked up a guide for Shaman. I'm just pressing buttons I feel like should I should press. I don't even have all my runes. I've, I just got my totems. It, it, it doesn't, doesn't take much to get a purple parse in this game. And that's why when people also come in and say a 50 parse is average, it's not. An average person that's not doing that much is probably around the purple parse. To complain that you're not invited to a group because you can't get purple parses is probably actually at this point, and I started this conversation wanting this to go the other direction and realizing, yeah, damn it, I went the other direction. And I guess I'm being elitist, but I'm, I don't think I am at this point now that we've seen the bare minimum barrier to entry. I, again, would rather invite a blue parsing druid than this druid, by the way. If I if I didn't have a second druid, because this druid won't put up fairy fire. This is the 96th highest ranked druid in the world. I would rather bring a druid that actually didn't cast an ability and press fairy fire the whole time. But again, just moral of the story. Moral of the story, World of Warcraft Classic, you won't do damage if you don't have your own personal buffs party buffs and debuffs up. Those are more important than gear. Rotations are very simple in this game. Very, 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 very simple. Mechanics are basically non-existent. The biggest thing you can do to increase your damage and increase your parse is to put up the debuffs. If you remember in Classic WoW, everyone had the, the slash say thing that said like Sunders didn't go up until 3.6 seconds in. Sunder Armor in Classic World of Warcraft had to be your very first global. Even though it wasn't a damage dealing ability, it would increase your damage if every warrior just Sundered first, right? You'd be like, you would be pissed. If, if, it, if it took five seconds for five Sunders to go up, you would be pissed. You would be pissed and I would literally, I would, I'm kicking these warriors from my raid, right? It's so easy. And no, it's not caring about your parse. It's not caring about your parse. It's 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 caring about playing the game correctly, right? It's not about your parse. I think I, I literally just showed that, like, I don't, I would rather have someone just play the game correctly than bring a 99 parser. And I, I there's like a an anti-gatekeeping mentality that a lot of players have. They're like, I just log in to play the game. I don't want to like do any of that. It's like, that. it doesn't take any effort whatsoever. So that's all that's that's basically my rant um i need to go get a i need to go get the stupid uh fire nova rune